Lati. I am here with Josephine of The Point Shop in Santa Ana, California, and we are here to show you what it's like to get fitted for your first pair of point shoes. Josephine, do you mind telling us a little bit about yourself? Totally. So I'm the founder of The Point Shop. We're a traveling point shoe fitting store, so we go to the Valley Studios to fit point shoes on site. I started it back in 2014. Before that, I had a dance retail store that had everything in the store. We had tutus, leotards, jazz shoes, all yes. of that jazz. And we switched just to point shoes in 2015 because it's that important to get a proper fitting yes. and have proper inventory. <laughs> so we are now still the only store in the country that just sells point shoes and just do professional oh, fitting. That is so cool. All right, let's get started. Yeah, let's do it. Cool. <laughs> so we're gonna fit Ati as if this is her first pair of point shoes. Obviously she's had point shoes before, but I'm fitting her as <laughs> if it's her first pair because it's a little bit different than getting fitted for like your fifth pair or your sixth pair. Yes. So, okay, so the first thing I take a look at, first position, is just the natural shape of her arch and the natural shape of her feet because that's gonna play into the shape of the shoe that I'm gonna be choosing. Um, demi plie for me. At this point, I'm looking at her Achilles, how long it is, how short it is, um, what her jumps might look like. <laughs> um, so we're taking a look at a, a couple different things here. And then first position and parallel. So I'm taking a look at the differences between your left and your right. So a lot of people don't know this until you get fitted for point shoes, but your left and your right are very different. Like they're different sizes, different shapes, different widths. So I'm trying to figure out like what shoe can I put on her that's gonna be kind of between your left and your right, unless yes. you get two pairs of point shoes, at which point the first pair we're, we're probably not going to do two different pairs of point yeah. shoes for your first <laughs> pair because it's kind of expensive. Yes. So I'm trying to figure out which shoe is going to be in between these. Okay, so I am noticing Ati has a little bit of a bunion, so I want to make sure that uh, her big toe is, is straight to make sure that uh, nothing is getting pressed or anything like that. And for your first couple years that you're on point, the most important thing is that you're able to have a shoe that's functional rather than just pretty. So I can make yes. a shoe look really pretty, but it might hurt, it might not be functional for your technique, Mm -hmm. specifically so I'm really looking at your skill level okay. and what your good and bad habits are okay. and then trying to fix that with the type of shoe okay. so cool yeah so first position one more time and I want you to Tondo also come towards me very good beautiful so Ati has really pretty arches and you have a really really nice uh, like flexibility and ankle so I don't Thanks, think we're gonna have a lot of problems here <laughs> Tondo your right foot for me beautiful yeah, so I think, so what I'm seeing is her natural flexibility. I do see that you have a tendency to sickle a tiny bit. Yes, I do sickle. Yeah, so that don't usually, do that, dancers. don't do that. <laughs> um, but so you're using this muscle right here to pull your toes back, so you know exactly what you do. Yes. But when I notice something like that, where the, a dancer has a tendency to do something mm -hmm. that is um, incorrect or can lead to an injury, I'm going to try to find a shoe that will help you not do that. Yes, okay. So that um, you're not rolling over and then hurting Perfect. yourself. Perfect. Perfect. First position. Okay, so we're going to find something that is stable enough so that you're not sickling. Also something that's going to support those flexible ankles mm -hmm. and uh, something that's tapered enough so that everything is fitted inside the shoe. Okay, awesome. very good. You can have a seat right here. Yay. And then I'm going to grab a right shoe. Here. Yes. Okay, and do you wear toe pads? Toe this pads life. are really weird. Some they're, are squishy. <laughs> yes. So there's several different kinds, and a lot of times, um, it's just the thickness of the of the toe pad that's a little bit different. Okay. So this cool. is extra long. So this is something that I might consider for you, mm -hmm. um, because you do have a wider metatarsal. Yes. And then you do have a bunion. Yes. So a lot of times that, that's. Chubby feet. <laughs> just wide. That's a nice way of saying it. <laughs> the nice way is like, you have a wider metatarsal. Yeah. <laughs> but it's actually good, because then if you get a shoe that like fits you properly, then um, then it can be easier to fit a point shoe on your type of foot than fitting a regular shoe. So, because there's so many more options. I so this that. is something that I might consider for you. Okay. It is on the thicker side, so if a dancer is a, like closer to a professional dancer, then or, or pre-professional in mm -hmm. your case, then um, a lot of dancers don't like it to be too thick. Yes. yes. So we want to keep that into consideration too. So for your first pair though, I try to t keep it as minimal as possible. Okay. I want you to start to feel, I want you to start to understand what it feels like 
to be in a point shoe. The pain. The pain. <laughs> I want you to feel a little bit of pain yes. to get used to it. So this is a pretty thin toe pad. I normally don't do a lot of gel unless it's this specific kind because okay. this is just thin enough so that you can roll through everything. So it's Ooh. not a lot of like padding here. So it's cool. pretty thin. Okay. And then it kind of keeps your toes in place. So I really like this one. Okay. And um, another kind in the cloth section, there is, let me rummage through my toe pad box. Um, so this one is similar to this okay. one, but it has a thin bottom. So it's called a pro pad because a lot of pro professional pad. dancers wear these. Okay. So the, the general rule of thumb with toe pads is that you want to wear as little as possible without dying. Okay. <laughs> so don't die. Don't die. Don't die, but you want to wear it as little as possible so that you can really manipulate your feet. Because if you think about it, if I'm making a little cloud inside your point shoe, right? Yes. It's hard for you to like kind of manipulate your shoe. It's hard to show off your arch, you know? You yeah. don't want that. So you want it to be really tight. No clouds. No clouds inside your point shoes. <laughs> I do do that sometimes when the dancer is super sensitive. Uh, because okay. I would rather you dance in a cloud <laughs> than for you to not dance at all. Yes. So I will do that in some cases. I will make you a cloud if you absolutely need it. Okay. Okay, so these are the different types of toe pads. Perfect. Um, so I'm gonna start you out with something a little bit thinner. Okay. Just because, um, and, then, and then we're gonna move on to something thicker if you need it. But if we don't, great. So, cool. so we'll start with these little guys. Yes, so those little guys, we're gonna put that on your toes. Okay. And there is a possibility that we're going to put a spacer you have really flexible feet. I mean, you're actually like the worst, like <laughs> you are the worst example to pretend like this is your first pair because you don't look like this on your first pair of point shoes. So, just, so pretend. Pre just pretend that she doesn't have these gorgeous feet and we're just taking a look at it. Thank you. Yes. Okay. So the longer, yep, yes. exactly. So for you, I'm going to give you a little bit short, um, longer, something that is pretty and stable. I would imagine that when you are dancing, you're probably in a harder shank. Yes. So that plays to stability. There's hard shanks and soft shanks. And depending on your skill level and what your ankle does really, um, you need a different shank strength. So. Mm -hmm. And this is the shank right here, right? On the back. That's right. So really quickly, point you run 101. <laughs> Here we go, Let's get your notepads out, get friends. Get your notepads out. <laughs> Box, and then this is the shank. So that's there's two parts to a point shoe, and depending on what brand it is, what type of glue they use, it's either gonna be long, short, it could be long here on the wings, um, the shank could be really hard, or it can be soft. There's full shanks, quarter shanks, half shanks, depends on the shoe, depends on the brand. There's so many different types of point shoes and you need it because they have to be fitted like a cast. Yes. They have to be fitted perfect. So that's why there's so many Don't different Don't be scared. Sets. Don't be scared. That's why you yes. guys have us. I probably should have stayed <laughs> sitting down. That's okay. Ugh. Okay, so we're gonna try this Sorry, shoe. Break. So because so we're we know, changing. we're changing toe pads, we're gonna do the longer <laughs> one because we found out that Ati has a hot spot on either sides of her feet. Yeah, and a we, hot spot. That's right, a hot spot. <laughs> so we wanna make sure that those hot spots are covered so she's not dying in her point shoes. Yes. But something that is Ooh, covering on this way side. way better. Right, so, yes. and that's the thing, like toe pads make such a big difference. Like if you get fitted in a certain toe pad, you really shouldn't be wearing different toe pads after because um, that's what I fitted you in. Yes, it's like a little hack for your toes. It is. Yeah. Okay, so. I am seeing a little bit of space there, but we can fix that. Okay, can you pull that on for me? Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. There you go. Okay, can you stand up for me? That's very You're pretty. Comfortable sitting down. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's That's see what not it feels how that like. works. <laughs> no. Okay, first position. So your Ati, your feet are um, even though it's wide, it's pretty shallow. Yes. So I'm seeing a little bit of space here. So we might have to go a little bit lower um, mm. in the profile here. So just okay. a little bit flatter. Demi plie. Do you feel your big toe pressing? Yes, it's pressing on the edge of the box. Is it jamming or is it just touching? It's just touching. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. Straighten, but your toes are all nice and straight? Yes. Perfect. Bring your right foot up on point. So that is saying that is probably the correct uh, length. Press up on both. 
very nice. So this is a very, very hard shoe, which I normally don't do for a first pair of point shoes, but sometimes I will get a dancer who is not as experienced, but they still have really gorgeous feet like this. So see how she doesn't sickle at all? So she has a tendency to sickle a tiny bit, but the shoe, because it's supportive enough and it's um, comfortable enough for her to be right on her big toe, so it's not bothering her. That's why she's not sickling. Cross it into fifth position. I like these. I know, they look gorgeous on you. And bright. So normally I would like to start dancers off in a softer shoe because it's easier to roll through and it, they build strength faster. In Auntie's case, I'm more concerned about her flexibility. So that's why I gave her a really hard shoe. This looks really good though. Thanks. Yeah, gorgeous. I like them. Yeah, do you feel like your toes are pressing or anything? No, the toes are straight. Perfect. And it's just my big toe that I feel at the edge, mm -hmm. but it's not crunched or anything. Got it. So it's okay to feel your toes a little bit on the floor, but it shouldn't be like jamming on the floor. It should be just like touching it slightly so that you know where the ground is. <laughs> yes. Yeah, they, those look amazing. Thank you. After you choose your perfect pair of point shoes, um, don't be so concerned about what the shoe looks like for the first couple pairs because we're fitting more to your technique, like I said before. Yes. You just happen to have gorgeous feet, so everything's going to look pretty on you. <laughs> but I'm less concerned about what the shoe looks like and more concerned about what the shoe is doing for you. Yes. So after you choose your shoe, though, um, you have to select your ribbons and the elastic. Ooh, the pretty part. So pretty. <laughs> so there's a couple different types. There is the non-stretch and then there's a the stretch. So the non-stretch is just the regular satin ribbon. You can okay. have the matte kind that's not shiny, and then you can have the satin one that is shiny. So there's these are the two non-stretch ribbons. Okay. And then there's this type of ribbon that's stretchy from beginning to end. That's my favorite. So yes. it's really stretchy, I love that one. super comfortable, especially if you have really high arches like you. There's a lot of bunching with these. Yes, because yes, when it you gets go really up, weird. <laughs> yeah, so it's like bunchy at the bottom and everything, so this doesn't do bunching. that. We don't want that. Okay, so would you recommend a specific type of ribbon for a first time point student? So that's a really good question, and it depends purely on the dancer. Okay. So some dancers need more support, and they need to have the shoe pulled up to their foot a little bit yes. more, at which point I will recommend the regular ribbon that doesn't stretch. But if a dancer is um, a little bit more flexible and they want a little bit more comfort, mm -hmm. then we do the stretch ribbon, so. Cool. Yeah. Okay, well thank you so much. You're that was welcome. amazing. You guys, if you get your point shoes and your teacher gives you the green light, that is such a special day. And if you're local, please come visit the point shop. You can make your appointment online, right? That's right, on okay. thepointshop.com. Thepointshop.com. So please come visit Josephine and her beautiful shop. I am so excited to take these home. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. Yay! Bar hug. <laughs> <laughs> so this is Brayden's foot, which is ridiculous, he, right? You missed your calling, my man. I know. <laughs> you missed your calling. You There's still time to change, There's right? still time. There's still time. Hold on. I'm just going to see. Change of plans. Brayden. Change of plans. Brayden. <laughs> this is amazing. You're beautiful. Beautiful feet. Bend your knee. Look at that. Oh it's my so god. I don't, bend that one. I'm a, I don't <laughs> like that, he says. Look at this. All fossied out right now. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's pretty amazing.